How are your reflections on on the performance, please? On the performance, um, the headline will say 4-0, which is heavy. It's a heavy result. We didn't deserve to get beat 4-0 today. Um, we were by no way the better side, so I'm not trying to kid anybody at all. Um, York were a very, very, very strong team who I, I fully expect to go on and win it, if not certainly get promoted. Um, I think you find out a hell of a lot after last week and after this week in terms of character. My players tried to the very end. So the headline says 4-0. We missed three one-on-ones, big moments in the game. Um, we had a couple that was we were standing behind them that was blocked and cleared that were going in. Um, but we didn't defend the moments well enough. And the first goal was down to their movement, which we tried to prepare for all week. We knew they was going to make those half-space corridor runs, which they did. We didn't track one of them. We got ourselves muddled up. Other than that, the first half, the game plan, the boys followed well. I don't think we had enough of the ball, uh, you know, f f for what I would like. But you have to respect the level. You have to respect where you're sort of coming to. Um, and then the second half, a couple of the goals are down to the fact that my left back, after having made a change, um, Toddy came, I'm glad he's OK, but it's a really, really horrific challenge. Uh, to his face, he's had to come off, we've had to make our last sub and our left back cramping up, can't run, so they utilised that side and, and, and got a couple of goals off of the back of that, so it's a difficult one to take, but I, I, I don't I don't want to stand here and, and say that I'm disappointed in my players for their effort and their endeavour and their hard work, um, it was about levels today, it was about levels in the box and they were ruthless in the box and they took their chances and they're a really good football team. So in that respect, there are certainly positives to take after the FA Cup exit. Now you mentioned, uh, Todd, there was a lengthy stoppage during the second half. He appeared to have a facial injury. How, how is he right now, Harry? Well, look, he's sat up inside. Um, he's OK, he's, he's, he's responsive, he's talking. Um, but not, not nice to see someone you really care about, genuinely care about on the floor like that. Um, not really knowing where he is um, and then obviously we've had to, to make that change and the, and the guys have had to respond um, but he's okay he's okay now you certainly started the game on the front foot and uh, you may well have taken the lead Anthony Stewart I showed, gro showed great technique as a defender just to get his head over the ball and keep it down and he just went the wrong side of the post yeah um, and, and again you have to respect you have to respect the level, you have to respect where we are in terms of our confidence, but we had a really good week. The word belief was, was, was used a lot. We had a really good week in terms of our belief and our prep. I thought we pressed them really well in the first 15 minutes. Then their movement and their rotation started to come into fruition and we dropped off a little bit too much. Obviously, Anthony has the opportunity in the box. We had another opportunity from a press, a successful press. Um, but again, like I say, they roll their full-backs inside, they run the corridor, a wide player comes down, and they do it consistently. They throw enough mud against the wall so it sticks. That's not me doing them a disservice at all. They're a brilliant football team. But we knew how they were going to hurt us, and we knew how to stop it. But we had to consistently stop it rather than not, not consistently stopping it. And that one, that one opportunity in the first half, they took it, and they took it really well. You certainly stayed in the game during the first half until they scored the opener. Now, you did mention... Uh, three one-on-ones, the first of which um, during the second half with Kwame Thomas with just the keeper to beat. That could have been such a defining moment in the game. Yeah, big moments in the game. Um, Kwame was brilliant for us all game while he was on the pitch. He was a focal point. We went into him at times early. He held it up for us. He won fouls. He brought others in. Um, Jim Kellerman does really well for that chance. Jim Kellerman makes that chance, with, again, with, with effort, endeavour, enthusiasm. Plays the ball square, and I just think the goalie's made his decision, he's made himself really big, and he's, he's made a big save in, in, in that moment in the game. And that was at 1-0, that would have made it one each. Um, we had our four subs ready to come, come on at that point and, and go for it, which we did. You know, I'm making four attacking substitutions, I'm not putting a centre-back on, I'm, I'm going for the game. Um, but yeah, that was a huge moment in the game to shift the momentum in our in our favour. And that was certainly a very bold move at that point of the game, making those four changes. What what prompted you to make up to four at that time? Well, um, we spoke at half-time about being front foot and, and going for them a little bit more and 
showing them a little bit less respect and I made sure that the guys knew they were coming on, those guys that were coming on, um, on that 55th minute. And um, Don Polion was running off his shoulders and Aaron, obviously making his debut, showed some exciting moments, stretched the game and Sham come on and tried to, try to, to get on the ball and, and find and link. Racks on the other side tried to do a job in terms of nullifying that side. So we were trying to be positive with it all. It's great to have Dom Pulliam back after international duty. You mentioned one of the players making their debut uh, today, Aaron Cosgrave. Another player making his debut, Papi Suare. What did you think of both their performances today? Yeah, well, it was difficult for Papi because he's, you know, he, he's not knocked out 90 minutes at, the, at this level for, for a while. Um, so, you know, he, he did well to get to, to that 60-minute mark. Obviously, Toddy getting injured mm -hmm. kills us a little bit with that change because um, we was planning on bringing him off. Um, Aaron did really well when he came on, looked dangerous, looks fit, looks robust. Um, and I'm hoping that he can, and help, he can help us get, get out of where we are at the moment. So the next game coming up is against Forest Green Rovers. Um, you said yourself during the week that was going to be an outrageously difficult fixture. I just wanted to ask you finally, what, what is the injury situation right now and is there any chance that you might bring any more new players? Yeah, the injury situation um, is something that we're trying to deal with in-house. Um, it's not something that, particularly after a game that you've lost, that you want to talk about or use as a headline. Um, but we're trying to manage it as best we can and we're trying to get players on the pitch fit, ready to go, ready to knock out minutes. Um, it, it has been a real challenge, um, you know, trying to fight against that, players breaking down or coming into players not being available. So, look, we're managing that as best we can. Harry, thank you for your time. No problem at all. Thanks very Thank much.